Shalom. It's the book of Jude, verse 24. I want to him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise power of a Savior, the glory and majesty, the man and power both now and ever, so be it. Giving our praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kwadash. <coughs> and double honor to mighty church, the apostles, the elders, and the bishops of Great Melstone. Shall warm to the Yakim worldwide that are sincere and serious in only will. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachah, Kodash, 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 1 and 2. You all, you have the brother, the disciple Koshah, Banyamin, for the branch, <coughs> here in Great Millstone, Barbados. And um, yeah, I just want to do a quick video here. Um, mostly on the topic of health. But um, really, health comes from the Lord. That's right. Health really comes from the Lord. You know. Um, it's good to see us. Let me get a preset here. Uh, yeah, this is the book of. Um, Here's the book of Surah 30 and 15. Health and good estate of body and above all gold. A strong body above infinite wealth. Yes, yeah, so health and good estate is above all gold, man. You see, remember what remember what uh, the apostles told the man that can walk? Let me see if we find it here. Right? Let me see if we find it. I think that's in the book of Acts too. That's the third chapter. Let me see if we find that here. Let me see if we find that precept there. Alright. Acts 3 verse 6 And Peter said Then Peter said Silver and gold have I none But such as I have Give I thee In the name of Yahweh Shai Amashiach of Nazareth Rise up and walk and, and he took him By the right hand And lifted up And lifted him up And immediately his feet And ankle bones received strength and he leaping up stood and walked and entered and entered with them into the temple walking and leaping and praising the Mosai Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai so that was real wealth man you understand they start with this knowledge first but like health is above all gold man because you can't do nothing if you're healthy man you understand? You can't do nothing if you're healthy. You can't enjoy, quote unquote, you can't enjoy your riches if you're healthy, man. You can't enjoy women. You can't enjoy power. Huh? You can't enjoy, you can't enjoy nothing without health, man. So the reason why you get into this is because, yeah, I met someone yesterday. Uh, so I met someone yesterday. And, um, uh, doesn't eat meat and um, he, he, um, he basically like a Dr. Sebi right he basically like a Dr. Sebi very knowledgeable in the herbs you know what I mean and um, he doesn't eat cooked food you understand so he like a Dr. Sebi you know so he was he was telling me things 
that I knew, right? And then I started to tell him things that had him shot like, yo, I ain't know you know that big man. You see? So all praises to you, how about I show me how we shy for that. But the the, 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 the the real the real wealth and health comes from the Lord B. You could got as much herbs <clears throat> you can be taking as much herbs as you want. If the Lord if the Lord don't want to heal you, he will not heal you. If it's your time to go, it's your time to go. And then nothing you can do about it. You understand? So, what are you living? What are you supposed to be doing? That's Ecclesiastes um, 12. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. If I me get that, man. That, that's what we want to do. Understand, man. We want to... We want to... We want to understand the Heavenly Father who you ignorantly call God. His name is Yahweh. And his son's name is Yahweh Shai. Right? They are in total control of life and death, man. Health, wealth, prosperity, sickness. They are in control of everything, and that's what I don't understand. I don't care how much smoothies you want to drink, man. How much smoothies you drink. You understand? Know Use a workout guru. Always in the gym. If the Lord want you sick, and it's time for you, it is time. You can't do that about it. Ecclesiastes 12 and 12, I'm sorry, and uh, 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the most high. And that's the problem, man. That's the problem. We don't know fear the most high, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father. And his son's name is Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ. God keeps stressing on that. And keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. So he has to fear the more sight and keep his commandments. So let me get the book of Surah 11 and 14. Prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of the Lord. That's plain, big man. Read that again. Surah 11 and 14. Prosperity, meaning you got you you got abundance, man. And adversity, you're going through trial after trial after trial. Life and death, even if a baby is it dies when it comes out of his mother's womb, man. A sparrow don't fall to the ground unless the Lord sanctions should it be. Poverty and riches, a man is poor. Our man is rich, come of the Lord. The Heavenly Father does all these things. And what I don't, what I don't seem to understand that. Huh? You understand? So, yeah, man, when I, when, when I go come. Well, Lord, when I ain't gonna do that, only the elect can understand this. You see? Um. So like it's another one I wanted to get, but it slipped my mind now. You see? So Rock 15 and 17. Before man is life and death. And whether he like it shall be given him. So and whether he like if we need the heavenly father, it shall be given him. So if it's time for you to go, it is time for you to go. I don't care how much herbs you take, it tell you in Sirach. Um you know what I mean? End with that preset. How does it go now? It, um um, if you got that preset go, boy. So lock your mind. All that preset goes now, boy. Rock 38. Um, the 
he didn't really position. So right to the hit one, but he won't get to the point. And now, my son, in thy sickness, be not negligent, but pray unto the Lord, and he will make, and he will make the whole. Who? The Heavenly Father. And honestly, that's what he did the other day. You understand? Know Last week, Thursday, I woke up with my foot hurting me. So I tell myself, all right, that means it's time for me. Because remember, I got a disease that is, is come on. It was, I had it abated for a year. All praises to Yahweh, but I showed me I was shy. And it was, it, I thought it was coming back, because it needed hurting me real bad. You understand? So what I did, I went, to the, I went for the herbs. But before I took the herbs, I said my prayers. You understand? I made some celery juice. You understand? I said my prayers. So now I ain't, I ain't in more pain. All praises to Yahweh, but I showed me I was shy. So he healed me. You understand? If such does he heal men? That's the rock to the eight. And um, let me start at six. And he have given men skill that he might be honored in his marvelous words. Yeah, for a man that got the real understanding of herbs, how to treat this disease and that disease, that's a gift, boy. That is truly a gift. Even the man told me yesterday he, had, he uh, cured a woman that had five boys. You understand? He cured a woman that had five boys. Right? Um, but she got like a days ago, right? Went back to her old ways. And that's another thing to you people don't you people don't want to reform your minds, boy. She went back to her old ways, the five boys came back. Then instead of she going back to what he her in the first place, she gone to a doctor quote unquote doctor, got the five boys cut out, an infection uh, uh ensued and Right now she's back in the spirit run. You people don't you people don't I don't know boy. Israel is a stiff neck, hard headed people boy. So right to the eight and seven with such that he heal men and take away their pains. With such that he heal men and take away their pains. Of such that the apothecary made a connect a confession of his works. There is no end. And from his and from him is peace over all the earth. My son, in thy sickness be not negligent, but pray unto the Lord, and he will make thee whole. You see? That's plain, man. So, I get in there, man. I ain't gonna be that long, you know? That's a short video. The Heavenly Father is in control of everything, man. You understand? And that's what I don't understand. They are in control, man. All praises to Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashem Ukhaqudash.